Can menopause cause memory loss? Yes, it can. Let's talk about why and what you can do about it. Many menopausal women will complain of loss of memory. It's usually very subtle when they first enter menopause and it can start as early as perimenopause. You forget why you walked into a room, you start forgetting names, you start forgetting bills that need to be paid, birthdays, and you're wondering what the heck is going on with your brain. Does that happen to you? If so, please comment below and tell me about it. Menopause memory loss is usually a transient occurrence, meaning that it's not gonna last very long. It's your brain getting used to less hormones. You really need estrogen in order for your brain to function sharply so that you remember all the things that you used to remember. Now, if you were a kind of person like I am, who's never been able to put a name to a face, you're not gonna all of a sudden be able to suddenly remember these things around menopause. But if you've always been able to remember certain details, and now you're forgetting like word loss. That's something to be alerted to. Estrogen helps you to remember by speeding up the neurotransmission of the messages in the brain. And progesterone, which is the other hormone that declines in menopause, helps with your memory by keeping the myelin sheath, the insulation around the nerve cells healthy so that the electrical impulses can be rushed from one part of the brain to the other as quickly as possible, and you can find that word or name or date that you're trying to remember. So a lot of menopausal women will find that they do eventually remember things, it just takes longer. And that's because that lack of progesterone that's caused the myelin sheath to be a little threadbare, and the memory recalls a lot slower. Memory is something that can be trained. And while hormones make a big difference in helping to recover your memory, you can also train your memory. And it's a great thing to start as early as perimenopause. Start playing games to help with your memory, any kind of games like concentration, card games, crossword puzzles, anything that actually helps you to retain information makes a big difference. Making sure that you have little memory tips where you write things down, that you repeat the name of someone who introduces themselves out loud so you can help remember is a good habit to train your memory eventually you're going to find that you do retain the most important details. And then some of the things that once seemed to be really important when you were younger, maybe they're just not as important any longer. They don't really need to be retained. For instance, a lot of us have gotten pretty bad with directions because we all use our digital map devices to actually help us find places. So we don't really need to retain that information in our brains anymore. We do need to adjust some of those factors through menopause. Like if you're retired and you no longer are working on a schedule and you're used to your day being scheduled, you know what day of the week it is and what you should be doing every day. When you lose that schedule, that can affect your memory as well. So readjusting to your new schedule and writing things down as you would have, let's say, when you were working, it can actually really help to retain your memory. Seeing things on calendars, instead of having it on our devices, it's another way to help to retain that memory because we're used to seeing events that are supposed to be coming up. We don't have to hold on to them into our memory banks when we can physically see them. And some women are quite concerned with memory loss and its relationship to Alzheimer's. We do know that women are more affected than men from Alzheimer's and it's more likely to affect women in menopause. Now there definitely seems to be a relationship to the decline in estrogen. Alzheimer's does not affect every woman, of course, but it is a concern for women, and menopausal women need to be aware that there can be a protective effect using estrogen to help prevent Alzheimer's-related changes in the brain, especially for those who are genetically predisposed. You definitely want to talk with your health care provider about your family history of Alzheimer's and what you can do to help prevent it. I like to take a more nutritional approach to memory loss. One of the things that I've noticed in dealing not just with the hormonally challenged menopausal women, but also with children with learning disabilities, so we're looking at two ends of the spectrum, is that the brain is highly responsive to good nutrition. And one of the nutrients that is so important in maintaining good memory are omega-3 fatty acids. Making sure you're eating enough fatty fish, taking fish oils, or at least algae-derived DHA can actually help to maintain memory, focus, and concentration. 
Also, decreasing inflammation throughout the body, especially the brain, by eating a colorful diet, lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of different colors, reds, purples, yellows, orange, greens, because they're rich in antioxidants and other vital micronutrients. Eat them every day. It makes a huge difference in maintaining memory. And there's certain spices that are actually really good as anti-inflammatories and can help to improve brain function. One of those spices, golden turmeric, actually has a beautiful anti-inflammatory effect on the brain. Now it's taken with best with black pepper. The biopirine in black pepper can actually enhance the absorption of the active ingredient in turmeric called curcumin. And fat, you need fat with turmeric in order to absorb it well, like olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, or nuts and seeds. One of my favorite ways to use turmeric is golden milk, which is a coconut oil base with turmeric and other spices like ginger and cinnamon in a hot drink like tea or coffee. Golden milk is a good way to get turmeric into your diet and help to maintain a healthy brain function. But diet alone isn't enough to prevent and recover menopausal memory loss. You must keep active. Aerobic exercise is super important to help you keep your brain young Exercise increases circulation to your entire body, including your brain. Exercise helps reduce systemic inflammation, which in turn helps prevent memory loss. And making sure you're getting adequate sleep is super important to maintaining healthy brain function and maintaining your memory, especially in menopause. Since menopause can increase your risk of insomnia, that loss of sleep actually means your brain doesn't get the rest and repair that it needs. So try to get as much sleep as possible, correcting whatever issues you're having with insomnia as soon as possible to help recover some of your memory loss. You can check out my video on menopausal insomnia below. Thank you.